today we are discussing the nuclear physics a research book by kenneth s crain first the basic nuclear structure this is the representation of a nuclide that is x z is the atomic number a is the mass number and n is the neutron number this is representation of a nuclide and what do you mean by isotopes isotopes are the nuclides have same atomic number different neutron number so the example is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 here the uh, atomic number is same and the the neutron number is different and isotons that is nuclides have same neutron number but different atomic number that is h2 and he3 here atomic number is different but the same neutron number how to find the neutron number that is uh, mass number minus atomic number will give you the neutron number that is a minus z equal to n okay so here you know that the hydrogen atomic number that is 1 so 2 minus 1 1 is the neutron number here helium atomic number is 2 so 3 minus 2 that's equal to 1 okay so the neutron number is same for these both two uh, nuclides and next uh, isobars isobars are the nuclides have same mass number but different atomic number that is uh, hydrogen 3 and helium 3 here the mass number is same but the atomic number is different for hydrogen helium so these are the isobars and next we are going to units and dimensions in units and dimensions uh, Mm, in this research uh, re reference book, they discusses the units that is ten raised to minus fifty is a femtometer that is Fermi. One electrovolt that is equal to one point six zero two into ten raised to minus nineteen joule. Ten raised to minus nine is nano. Ten raised to minus twelve is pico. One electrovolt is the energy gained by a single unit of electronic charge when accelerated a potential difference of one volt. So that that is when we apply a one volt potential to an electric charge, the energy gain gained by that electron that is called the one electron volt. Okay. Then nuclear masses. Nuclear masses are represented by a unified atomic mass unit U, and uh, we can um, uh, have an a uh, relation that is uh, have a relation that is one U that is a unified atomic uh, mass unit that is equal to nine thirty one point five zero two MeV. So how to uh, relate the mass and energy? We know the expression that is C is equal to mc square. Einstein's mass energy relation and c square is equal to nine thirty one point five zero two mev divided by u. Okay, so from that uh, the one u that is uh, uh, that is a commonly represented uh, representation of the nuclear mass that is equal to nine thirty one point five zero two mev. Okay, next uh, uh, the reference book uh, uh, by Kenneth Crane which uh, discusses the elements of quantum mechanics. quantum mechanics in quantum behavior we are discussing the light nature that is the wave behavior of a material particles uh, early we are considered that is light as a wave uh, but the works by planck and einstein they consider the ex uh, the experiment uh, they they are worked on the light and that is black body radiation and photoelectric effect by einstein they show that the light is not like a smoothly and a continuous wave light as a concentrated bundle that is a quanta that is a particle of light light is not as smoothly co continuous as a wave it is just like a <laughs> material okay so here we have to make a clear what is the distinct uh, difference between matter and wave what is the relation between them so the de broglie uh, de broglie postulation that is the particle moving with the momentum p is a wave of wavelength lambda that's equal to h by p okay so uh, we are considering a particle which has a momentum p and that particle should possess a wavelength lambda is equal to h by p where h is the planck's constant and lambda is de broglie wavelength
ओके द एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंफर्मेशन ऑफ डी ब्रोकली वेव लेंथ बाय थॉमसन एंड डेविडसन एंड जर्मर सॉरी थॉमसन एंड डेविडसन एंड जर्मर एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट दे शो द डिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर पार्टिकल्स एंड दे बिहेव्स लाइक ए वर्स ओके सो वी कैन रिलेट मैटर विद द वेव्स ओके Uh, next we are going to the heisenberg uncertainty principle where delta x delta px is greater than or equal to h cross by 2 h cross is equal to h by 2 pi and delta x and delta p delta x is the uncertainty in position delta p is uncertainty in the momentum so that uh, should be greater than or equal to h cross by 2 and next another idea that is wave packet wave packet is a particle is a collection of waves okay particle is a collection of waves that is wave packet energy of a system is related to the frequency nu e is equal to h nu and another uncertainty relation with the energy and time that is delta i and delta t greater than or equal to h cross by 2 what is meant by an uncertainty principle that is if you uh, find the uh, the position is actually correct uh, that is accurately we can find the position we should uh, have a, uh, get a momentum uncertainty okay the measurement should be greater than or equal to h cross by 2 this is the uncertainty relationship um, uh, for a quantum particle also there is uncertainty relation between uh, energy and time and next also there is an uncertainty principle between delta uh, lz delta phi is greater than or equal to h cross by 2 that is uh, between the angular momentum and azimuthal angle okay the main parts of the quantum mechanics that is principles of quantum mechanics so uh, for that we have discussing uh, the we are discussing the time independent schrodinger equation you should remember this time independent schrodinger equation that is minus h cut square by 2m d square by psi by dx square plus v of x psi of x is equal to e of psi of x e into psi of x that is psi of x is the wave function e is the energy v is the potential okay the schrodinger wave function is psi of x and uh, uh, these uh, this time independent schrodinger equation is the mathematical description of wave packet okay the solution is only for certain values of energy that is psi of x comma t that is equal to psi of x e raised to minus psi omega t omega is equal to e by h cross and for a time independent schrodinger equation the psi must be remain remains finite and uh, probability that is another another quantity uh, another uh, we should uh, remember that is p of x dx is equal to psi star x comma t psi of x comma t dx between x and dx uh, x plus dx okay that is uh, we have to find the probability of a wave function between x and x plus dx the probability is psi star psi dx okay so we can also integrate uh, from x to x plus dx psi star psi dx okay and what do you mean by probability density that is psi star psi what is the probability that is psi star psi dx okay so you should uh, find the difference between the probability density and probability probability density is psi star psi and probability is uh, psi star psi dx between x and x plus dx okay the pro total probability to find the particle must be 1 that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity psi star psi dx is equal to 1 the normalization condition should be satisfied by a probability of to find a particle the physical meaning uh, physically it is meaningful that is uh, for a physically meaningful uh, idea is for normalized wave the normalized wave condition is physically meaningful okay so we have to uh, find uh, or remember this uh, normalization condition that is integral minus infinity plus infinity psi star psi dx is equal to 1 average value of f of x is determined by uh, expectation of f integral psi star f psi dx that is expectation value so we should uh, um, familiarize these uh, things that is what you meant by expectation value what is meant by probability density probability like that and uh, uh, when we 
are coming to the quantum mechanics the variables which is changes as a operator so we should familiarize that is momentum operator PO, px that is equal to minus i h equal dou by dou x or uh, that is p the momentum that is equal to minus i h equal del and energy operator is e is equal to i h equal dou by dou t and uh, if you find the expectation value of uh, the momentum in x direction that is expectation of px that is equal to integral psi star minus i h equal dou by dou x psi dx and we can take minus i h equal outside and integral psi star dou psi by dou x dx okay so these are these are this is the expectation value of the uh, momentum operator and what do you mean by particle current density this is another expression that is j is equal to h square by 2 m i psi star dou psi by dou x minus psi dou psi star by dou x okay uh, this is analogous to the electric current okay so these are some introductory uh, knots in nuclear physics uh, so uh, first of all uh, we are uh, analyze that is the representation of a nuclide and what is meant by isotope isobar and isotones and uh, units and dimensions and uh, what is uh, the nuclear mass representation and uh, in quantum behavior what do you mean by de broglie wavelength and what is uncertainty principle between uh, position and momentum energy and time and angular momentum and azimuth angle and what you meant by time independent schrodinger equation and its solution psi of x comma t is equal to psi of x e raised to minus psi omega t and what is meant by normalization condition and uh, it is physically meaningful and uh, probability density probability expectation value operators Moment operator energy operator so these are the introductory note that is class 104 uh, introductory nuclear physics by Kenneth S. Crane thank you